Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and I'm back, of course. And I get a lot of questions about our promos. People say, how do you create promos? How do you, you know, how do you match the audio up to the visuals so well? Or, you know, how do you get the girls to just flock after you uncontrollably? And, um, you know, the answer to the question is actually very, very simple. Well, not the second question. Well, never mind. Here is the... <laughs> what I'm trying to say is you're going to want to plan out this promo. You can't just start going into After Effects and blindly creating a promo that's primarily made out of visuals, um, motion graphics in this case. Now, if you're doing editing, um, you know, I've been an editor for a very long time and this is what they say. This is what I say. Edit to the music. You put a fast song on there, you want to have fast cuts. You put a slow song, slow cuts with dissolved, slow fade outs. That's the kind of thing you want to do. You want to match your visuals to your audio. Now, how does that work when you are going to be the one creating the audio? Well, let's take a lot of that in first. And let's tackle the, the first thing here. Okay, so here we have the Video Copilot Designer Sound Effects promo. Now, let's just watch it here for a second. Okay, so we have a few things here, and let me just kind of go through and talk about what we're hearing and what we're seeing. So in the beginning, we have these hard hits. And that first hard hit brings up the initial title, and it holds. And then we have a big slam when the actual designer sound effects comes up. Then it plays for a moment, then comes into this title. Now listen, it's kind of mellow. And then you hear a nice smooth title, so it's mellow. So this kind of blurs and fades out softly. Then it kind of comes in hard, and we hear kind of a hard come in, and then it slowly builds up, and we hear this kind of record scratch. And when we see is this sort of kind of cutting off the screen. So what I did was match the visuals to the audio. Now, I planned this out pretty well, I think so. And don't get me wrong, you're not gonna know everything you're gonna do in the final promo. So let's talk about how I plan this out. Normally, you'd want to do this inside of your video application where you can create some simple titles and have real-time audio playback and obviously mixing capabilities. And we'll get into that in After Effects, but for instance, you're going to create these great-looking titles using just simple text, and the idea is to create the timing, get the timing right. Start mixing in sounds, okay, I want the video copilot to be there for about three seconds, then a hard hit comes in, and I want to hold on the logo for, you know, four seconds, whatever. And you simply want to put in these titles that are going to be placeholders. In big movies, when they have a really complex shot, they do what's called animatics. They figure out what it's going to take to do this shot using, you know, 3D models. Um, now, another form of this is doing a storyboard, which I do recommend for motion graphics, is to draw out storyboards of what you want to happen. It really helps you figure things out in your own mind. Then when you get into After Effects, you can concentrate on making it unbelievable. Anyway, that's what After Effects is about. So what I'm going to show you is just a simple version, a simple cut that allows you to kind of see that you're on the right page or something's too long. So here it is. Okay, nice. Okay, so obviously, um, you know, this didn't make the final cut, but that's not the point. The point is, we get the timing right. We start layering in these tracks, and obviously, you want to know most of the things you're going to say. So in this case, I already knew what the product was about. I knew how many sounds. I knew all the features that I was going to promote. So the idea was to get those all out in a very entertaining way. Now, this collection has a bunch of different elements. So... The motivation behind this promo was to show you how many different elements there are and make it seem, you know, vast and have these contrasting points where it's fast to slow and really powerful and all that good stuff. So 
I started out with something very similar to this and slowly layered in my audio until I was down to the very end. I knew, okay, there's going to be this big climactic end. And, you know, I simply had these cuts that were short that would go just like you see in the promo movie trailers, title sequences, promos, websites, you know, and I was able to tell that that was going to create the pacing I wanted to see and using my audio elements. Some drums and some swishes and some hard hits, you create that intensity, you know, that climactic build at the very end where everything kind of comes off. And of course, you have to have the heartbeat. You know, it's just what you do after a big climactic ending because everyone's so tired, I imagine. So that's, that's the idea. First, figure out what you want to say and bring those elements into your production. Don't just blindly start going at it. Um, let's talk about actually composing a score. Now, I'm not going to sit here and compose uh, you know, a 30-minute thing, but we're going to create a new composition, and we'll make it 15 seconds long, and we'll call it score. So this is basically what you're going to be doing in After Effects, and we don't need to see a bunch of these different elements. And go over to your iTunes, and let's start out... Hmm... Let's start out with a nice hard hit coming from like a reverse sound. So let's go search for reverse. We have some bells that reverse. Reverb. <laughs> reverse. Okay, reverse number five. So we'll drag this into our sound effects. And we'll drag that out onto our comp. LL, bring up our waveform. And we'll line this up with the beginning. Now, if we want it to be a little shorter, we can go into the audio levels and set a keyframe and bring the opacity or the audio level down. So you can make it shorter if you need to. Um, in this case, we'll just keep it as it is and just bring the volume down a little bit. And let's play that back, period, on the keyboard. Okay. So let's create first our title. Like, what are we going to say here first? We're going to say, uh, you know, introducing. Now, it doesn't have to be this lame of text. Um, Arial Black. And, you know, I've seen some animatics for movies, and they look better than, you know, some movies' final visual effects. So... Feel free to, you know, put a little work into this, but remember, this is simply for illustrative purposes. Um, you just want to kind of figure out what it's going to say. So introducing, you know, comes in about right here, and we want it to stay for about three seconds currently. Go back to iTunes. Let's look for a nice hard hit. Dropped appliance. Dark hit echo. I like that. So we'll take this dark hit. Drag it down, LL, let's take a look at it, and basically line that up, and we can zoom in plus or minus to kind of get close in there, and play it back. Okay, so what we're going to see is the title hits, and now we want to create some sort of background sound. So let's go to the abstract beats, and... club okay think take that into the sound effects collection and let's use that for sort of a background beat ll and we'll line that beat up right with the hit and that way it kind of hits pretty hard and we'll bring the bring the level down a little bit in the audio control here and let's go and play that back period Okay, now our introducing comes up, and then we want to say something else. Introducing um, this product, for example. Introducing this product. So maybe right here we want to do a swish. So let's go back to iTunes, swishes, and let's just find a nice... 
Okay, flame whoosh. That's good. You know, hey, you can think these things out or you can just go for it. Who, who knows? And the swishes are nice because you want them to kind of happen a little bit before. So let's actually RAM preview this. Now, the nice thing, if you're in a video editor, you're going to have to wait. Okay. So now there's no graphics here, but we can imagine when we take this into After Effects, well, we are in After Effects, but when we really take it into After Effects, we can do some cool stuff and make it fly in and all that good stuff. So now at the end of this beat, we want to maybe cut it off. So let's let the product stay up a little bit longer and we'll cut it off the think beat about right there. Go back to iTunes. Let's add in uh, hmm, another impact. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, sharp hit phased. Let's bring that in. And we'll say we want to just cut it off right here. LL, and we can look at the waveform. So here's what we have so far. Okay. Abrupt, but exciting. Now we'll go to the ambience, and just uh, let's look for something... Okay, Aura, bring that in. Put that right there, LL. Let this thing kind of just take over the shot. And you just kind of edit it, and we can also fade it in or fade it out. Um, but let's, let's just hit period. And we'll let that play for a couple seconds, and that's, it's gonna say, uh, okay, we get a hard hit right here. And we'll bring in that same swoosh flame whoosh and let that kind of swoosh by as our new thing comes up and at this point we can say you know the best product ever and we can take one of these drum buildups and just bring them in okay build up number 20 bring that in Drag this into the layer stack. Now, there's a bunch of different layers to these drum builds, so you don't need to use the whole thing. You can just use parts of it. So we're just going to use the end of this one, and what we'll do is start it to kind of come in about right here. Now, we can fade it on also. So we'll take the audio level at the beginning of it, bring it down a little bit, set a keyframe, move forward, and bring it up a little bit so that it kind of progressively gets louder. And then we'll just do a big ending right here. Whoops. And cut our text off. And let's find something to use with it. Let's look for like a uh, symbol. Let's see, sim. Um, drum bass symbol. Bring that in, drop that, line this up with the last hit of the drum, which looks to be about right here. And we'll just line that up, maybe one over, and we'll bring the level of it down just a little bit. And let's just play that. Now we also have our aura texture running in the background so what we can do is turn it off at the hit and it's going to be so loud at this point that you won't even hear that it shuts off um, you can also fade it out if it is a problem but I'm sure it'll be okay
Okay, so let's listen and watch our nice new promo. Okay, uh, that is pretty exciting, and I promise you, and if you don't know already, this was created simply off the cuff. Now, usually what I'll do is bring my audio in, play with the sound, no, let's try something else, and be switching it out, just coming up with some different things. But in this case, I'm just trying to show you the capabilities of this, but remember, there is a lot you can do behind the scenes. And we're gonna then take this into After Effects after we render out the audio, and bring it in as an actual score. But let me show you how I would do that. So our audio is now ready. Okay, this is, you know, this is ready for Steven Spielberg. So I'm gonna choose Composition, Add to Render Queue. And we're gonna change the output module. And instead of using video for Windows, we're gonna just create a WAV file. And we can just leave the uh, settings as they are. We'll choose OK. And then you can save this to wherever you need to and then render it out. And now that we have that file rendered out, I'm gonna then import it back into the project and we're gonna start creating some motion graphics. <laughs> 